In this video, I'm going to show you guys a really awesome software that can be used to recover any sort of data if you've accidentally deleted something or if your USB or hard drive crashes or gets corrupted. This is Steve from Nostalgia, and let's get started. Alright, so I want to start this video off by letting you guys know this is absolutely a sponsored video by Wondershare. And I want to take the time to explain to you guys now how I feel about video sponsors and what you can expect from me going forward with these types of videos. So first off, I will never ever accept a sponsorship from anyone or any company that I don't personally like, use, or would recommend to anyone. In fact, I've actually had about four or five sponsors that have reached out to me that I've completely declined because I didn't feel like they aligned with what my values are, or I really didn't like the products that they had to offer. So I've turned those guys away. And if I don't see myself recommending it to anyone, I will never ever do a sponsored video on it. Secondly, I will always be honest. If there are things that I dislike about the service or product, I will absolutely tell you guys. So you can count on me to be 100% transparent with these sort of things. And then third, I will always let you guys know right up front whether or not something is a sponsored video. Either way, if you guys are a fan of the channel, I think you guys know that I do my best to be as honest as I can about everything that I talk about. So hopefully you guys are okay with that. So with all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at the software. So I was reached out by Wondershare because they have a really awesome recovery data software. And uh, it works really well in the sense that what you can do is if you've got a USB drive or you've got a corrupt hard drive or anything like that, you can actually recover it in the event of data loss or any sort of corruption. This comes in handy because if you're anything like me, you probably don't back up your stuff very often. Uh, especially considering we do a lot of work with our classic console. So if we've got a USB drive that we're using for Bleem Sync, for example, or for Auto Bleem, uh, if anything ever were to happen to them and the uh, USB drive were to get corrupted, this software can actually help you recover all of your data that was on it. So that way you don't have to go and rebuild a new uh, build essentially. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna take a look um, on how you would download the software. So there's a few different options with it. When you pull up their uh, website here, you've got a couple of different options. So you can go ahead and download it for Windows because that's what I've got. But if you actually click on the Buy Now button, what it'll do is it'll show you all of the different options. So you can download the base Recover It software for free. There's not any actual cost to it, but there are limitations in terms of what you can actually get out of it. So if you download just their base software, again, it is free. Uh, you'll have access to do basic recovery. Um, you'll be able to uh, recover any files that are less than 100 megabytes. So that's really helpful for ROMs or things like that that are relatively small. Word documents or anything that's actually important. Resumes, things like that. That's actually really good. You don't have to pay for the software. But if you're looking for something that's going to be able to cover pretty much an unlimited amount of data, you're going to want to go with the Recover it Pro. And that's actually what I'm going to be showing you guys in this video. So you just click on the download now button. It'll automatically download the software. Now I've already got it installed, so I'm not going to do this, um, but essentially it works quite well. You just go ahead and save it, you install it, and then you're good to go. So as you guys can see, I've got it right here on my desktop. It's already pre-installed and running properly. I'm gonna go ahead and double click to open it up. So here it is right here. So as you can see, it's gonna go ahead and take a look at all of the hard drives that I've got connected into my computer. It's gonna look at all the partitions that are available. It's gonna look for external devices. So for example, I've got an external hard drive connected. I've got a USB drive connected, and it's also gonna be able to scan different locations like your recycling bin. So this is actually really neat. If you've deleted something and then you've emptied your recycle bin and you didn't mean to, you can actually use this to try to recover from there as well. Uh, and then additionally, you've also got uh, the option to recover a crashed computer, which could come in handy. Now, I've never had a computer fully crash on me, typically because I uh, swap out my hard drives every five or six years just to kind of prevent that from happening, but it does happen. So this is a good option for those people as well. Now I'm gonna leave this open. What we need to do is we need to have a USB drive so I can show you guys exactly how well this works. So I've got a USB drive plugged into the computer. I'm gonna go ahead and open that up right now. So here it is. And as you can see, it's completely empty. And just to show you guys that, I'm gonna completely format it. I'm gonna leave it as all the stock settings, FAT32 as the file system type. We're gonna start, we're gonna go ahead and reformat it. That's gonna be done. We can close this off and we can reopen our USB drive now. 
So as you can see, it's a completely fresh USB drive. There's nothing on it uh, whatsoever. We are currently using an eight gigabyte drive. And what I think would be the best thing to do is just to throw a couple different file types onto this USB drive. I've got a text document here and I've also got a video file. So I'm gonna throw these onto the drive. It's gonna take about a minute for it to transfer over. Okay, so now that we've got our files on our USB drive, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up to show you guys that these are legitimate files. We're gonna double click on the text file. It says testing Wondershare Recover at software. Will it fail? Uh, I'm not sure yet. We're gonna go ahead and close that. And then I've also got a video file. So this is just a raw footage file. Sorry, just open up on my other screen here. Here it is. So this is the video file here. And as you guys can see, this is just uh, one of my raw footage files from my At Games Legends Ultimate Arcade Cabinet video. So you can see that it is the full video. It is uh, about uh, a minute and a half. So we're gonna go ahead and close that. In terms of size, what I wanted to do is show you guys I can do large files and small files. So this uh, video file here is about 215 megabytes. And then of course the text file is minuscule one kilobyte. So what we're going to do now is we're going to highlight those two files and we're gonna delete them off of the USB drive. So those are going to be permanently deleted or at least visibly deleted in a way that we can't access them and they're no longer sitting on this USB drive. Next, what we need to do is we need to open up our Wondershare Recover It software and it's over here. And what we need to do is we need to select the drive that we want to scan. So in this case, we've got our USB drive, which is where I loaded those files and then deleted them. We're gonna click on this and we're gonna click start. Now what it's gonna do is it's gonna start a scanning system. So this can take anywhere between five minutes to, to 10 minutes, depending on what it is you are looking and how big of a um, drive you're looking to scan. Now I can tell you that the bigger the drive, the longer it's going to take. Now, the other thing that's nice about this is it's going to scan these files. And once you find the files that you want, you can actually stop the scan. So if you get a minute into the scan and you've got all the files that you needed, you can go ahead and pause it and you can recover the files that you've got there and you don't have to wait for the entire scan to be finished. There we go. So as you can see, we're starting to get some of those files that were previously deleted. Uh, and some of the hidden folders that are on those USB drives as well. So we actually already have our two files here. We've got our video file, which shows 211 megabytes. And then we've also got our uh, text file over here, which is 0.05 kilobytes. So we're gonna go ahead and pause this because those are the two files that we needed. Those are the only two files that would be located on that drive. We're gonna check them off. And what we're gonna wanna do is hit the recovery button. And this is gonna be essentially our third step. So our first step was to uh, select the drive. Our second step is to scan the drive. Third uh, step is to recover the files that we want. Now it's going to ask us where you want to recover the files to. And usually it is not a good idea to save the files to the path where you lost them. So for example, if you're recovering from a USB drive, you don't want to resave them to that USB drive. You want to save it somewhere else. So in my case, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and save it right to my desktop. We're going to go into Windows, uh, User, and then desktop right here. So we're gonna hit recovery. So now it's actually working. It's going to completely recover those files and it's gonna dump them in a file on my desktop, which I can show you guys right after. As you can see, it'll also tell you approximately how much time is remaining. Uh, and it doesn't take very long to recover these files. So as you can see, it's already gone ahead and done it. The folders popped up automatically. Two files recovered successfully. We're gonna hit okay. And we're gonna jump over to that folder to see where they are. Um, so again, that was just pushed right over to my desktop and I'll show you guys that really quickly right over here. Um, but we're going to double click and open it up. And as you can see, there are two files in here. So we've got our video file and we've got our text file. If we open up the text file, uh, testing Wondershare recover its software, will it fail? The answer is no, it did work. So that is good. We can go ahead and close that. Next, what we're going to do is open up this video file to make sure it does have the video as well. So we're going to double click on that and it works. And we've got our full video here. The entire video in terms of its HD quality is all there. Nothing's been compromised. It is essentially the original file. So that's, that's pretty much it. The software works really, really, really well. 
uh, and it does exactly what you'd need it to. This isn't something that people are going to download and use on a daily basis, but this software is really good for people um, to have in an emergency situation. And like I said, you don't need to buy the software and pay for a license. If you just want to have the base software, just for little files, resumes, documents, any smaller type of file, MP3 files, um, ROMs, things like that. You can have the free software. It doesn't cost you anything and you know that it's going to work. And then if you ever did need uh, the software for something larger, you can always purchase it, but you can do that right through their, uh, right through the base software anyways. So, but that's pretty much it. So I want to give a big thanks out to uh, Wondershare for sponsoring this video. It is greatly appreciated. The software is really good and I do recommend it. And it's something that's really handy to have, especially when you're dealing with a lot of files and transferring things from USBs to your computer and uh, anything like that. So definitely really awesome. Thanks again for watching the video. Yeah, but that's pretty much it guys. I will talk to you guys again real soon.